since the moment we started working on Yaba and we got the question, what is your first destination? We would answer Florianopolis. And now, here we are with Yaba, my family, and I don't think this moment could be any better than this. A new day and I'm already ready to be a happy sailor today because we're leaving Bombinhas to go to Florianopolis. My friend Bruna, I don't know if you remember her, she was the one that helped us design this new layout of Yaba. She's pregnant and she's having her baby shower today in Florianopolis. So we are leaving this anchorage so I can be there for her baby. Fun fact, today is a public holiday here in Brazil and if you want to go to Florianopolis, which is the capital of our province, by car, you're gonna spend at least five hours in your car. And I think that's what we're gonna spend on the boat, but it's way more beautiful and more fun. So actually, I'm not taking the long route. I'm taking the scenic route, and it's gonna take just as long. So the mission now is to go out at sea for this baby shower. Moment of truth. Five knots at the moment. And now let's see how many knots we do. 10 knots of wind from the north gives us, in this case, around just under four knots. Three and a half to four knots with three sails open. We've sailed it so far. Mm -hmm. Next time, when everyone comes in for a uh, shelter, we'll head out. Yeah, we'll see how long we can keep the sails open. This is absolutely amazing just sailing, but we do have to get to your appointment. Aye, aye, aye. What time? How long do we have still? We have. Well, we have to rush. <laughs> We've just dropped the sails. We enjoyed a bit of sailing, which is nice entering between the island and the mainland now and I think we have another, where is it, 10 miles to go, 10 knots of wind, maybe a bit more, we did 
just over four, just under four knots. Next time we go out, it's always gonna be better, you know? Florinopolis is always a bit like a magical island, you know? It's kind of surfy vibe. I always call it the Hawaii of Brazil. So you've got a fancy part of the town, which is just across the bridge, and then all the rest is kind of just like bare feet, flip-flops, surfing, like selling necklaces, homemade necklaces along the side of the road, you know? What else is cool about Florinopolis? Do you know anyone that was born there? I know that MP was born there. It's the vibes that this island gives are amazing. Fishy, fishy, fishy! I'm gonna catch a fish in three, two, one. Half. If I caught that on camera, woo, that would be cool. Exactly where we are passing now with Yaba was the same path that the Spanish caravels chose to come to invade Florianópolis, the island that we are about to arrive. The Portuguese created a defensive triangle. I don't know if you can see yet, I'll try to show you when we're closer, but on one tip of the triangle we have São José da Ponta Grossa, on the other one Anhato Mirim, and then in the middle we have two little islands that look like rats, like little mice, so they're called Raton Grande, Raton Pequeno, small and big uh, mice. And with that triangle, the plan was to, wherever they're coming from, we will be able to attack them and defend our place. So now we are about to enter the defensive triangle on a wooden boat that looks a lot like those boats back then. I just hope we don't get confused and no one shot any cannon at us. Little warning on the screen here. The region should only be entered with local knowledge. So uh, let's go slowly, check our depth sounder, check for rocks and smooth sailing, smooth motoring. Shashi on the lookout for flags which indicate nets and pots which we don't want to be running into right now. I know it. The last thing we want to do now is hit the bank. We must be doing something right. There are so many sailboats here and they probably have a deeper draft than we have. So no worries, it was all for nothing. Still going slowly though. We made it to our destination and bye. bye.
As we are in Florianópolis, I know I love being on the boat, but there are very cool things that we can explore. So welcome to the fortress of São José da Ponta Grossa. St. Joseph of the... Fat Point. Look at this guy! We're being invaded! Just so you know, I love this kind of stuff. Just picture way back when the Portuguese came to Brazil. It's the southern part of Brazil and they needed these forts to defend. Like, must have been loads of tour ships around here for transport, warfare, all that stuff. Absolutely insane. Now, it's a tourist attraction which we can visit, but we can kind of go back in time and just picture the horizon full of those ships, including Yaba. I, personally, am not usually the guy to walk into a museum and actually read everything, but this is a really cool thing. The way we came sailing in was from the northeast, right behind you guys. Now this triangle of fortresses was placed to defend from Spanish attacks. And exactly 247 years ago, a fleet of Spanish ships actually took the ex exact same route into or onto the island as we did. So for me, there is something quite romantic to it. Not that we have a massive gunship, but we have a wooden planked hull which is kind of the same as what was back then and that really gives a bit of I don't know what word am I looking for but it's so cool that we came in the exact same way as the Spanish did way back then and I remember MP saying I hope those cannons don't fire at us and being up here there's about four probably back then way more cannons pointed right at the direction that we came in Tem esse aqui também, ó. Tudo algodão, tudo. Maria in there was telling me that she learned it from her mother and that her mother learned it from her mother and now she also taught her daughter, her daughter taught her granddaughter. So it's very nice to see how this Henda de Bill who stays alive through generations. Bilhu is the name of those wooden sticks and Henda is lace, so lace made with that, like, that kind of technique, which is super nice, super precious. I absolutely love discovering new historical sites and being here at this fortress feels like stepping back in time. And that's why I'm so excited to introduce to you today's sponsor. Magellan TV is a streaming platform filled with amazing documentaries from all over the world. Whether you're interested in nature, history, science or true crime, they've got something for absolutely everyone. And they're always adding more and more content that you can watch on your TV, laptop, tablet or phone. One of my personal favorites that I'd love to recommend is Shackleton, the greatest story of survival. It's the perfect watch for anyone who loves adventure, especially if you're into epic wooden boat stories, which something tells me you like watching things about. I'm sitting on the edge of my chair to tell you more about it as it's a very inspiring adventure, but I really don't want to give away any spoilers as Shackleton's story is known for its plot twist and ending. What I can say about it is that he took a massive tour ship, a big crew, and went to go and explore the South Pole. 
And here is the best part. Watch the documentary about Shackleton and over 3,000 other documentaries, all in 4K and ad-free. Click the link in the description below or scan the QR code on the screen right now to get 30 days free trial for Magellan TV. And what I'm also very excited about, guys, is the temperature is increasing, which means summer is coming and we get to do a lot of our own exploring. Maybe not the South Pole, but a lot of the Brazilian coast. So much to see, and this is just our front door. We had a lovely time in this anchorage. The thing is, the wind is turning now, and most boats here are in a mooring buoy. We are on anchor, and it will be best if we move north, so we are more protected to the south wind that's coming. We do think that staying here would be also safe, but as we are exploring anyway, it's just a good excuse to continue going around the island. So we're getting ready to lift anchor and go to the north of the island, which is exactly where I grew up. So I'm very excited about this leg of our trip. So we have all these options. You see how this is like a smaller bay? Explore all these castles and fortresses. Climb every mountain top, fish every fish, sail every sea. All looks so cool. Thumbnail, you need a longer arm, way longer. Right, you need to stand here, left of the furling. Not from here? No. Lower. Perfect. Is it? <laughs> Boat moving, it's so tough. <laughs> 